Hello YouTube, today I'm going to show you how to get a dynamic DNS on your on Netgear. Netgear uh, w, Wireless G WGR 614V10 router uh, via dynds.org or dot com. So we finna get that in it. Uh, it does make your internet faster. Depending on um, what you're using, you could be using a T1 modem, DSL, or cable. I have a cable modem. My internet was pretty slow, especially with CD on my jailbroken iPod. But now my internet is a lot faster. So, first thing you want to do is you want to open up Rudal Logging. You can pop up this box for here. Hit admin. Password. Unless you change it to something else. I'm going to cancel my firmware upgrade. Alright, so when you get here, you want to go to Dynamic DNS. When you get here, clear out everything if there is anything in here. This is my current DNS. Then uncheck. Use the dynamic DNS service and hit apply. And hit show status and make sure it is not enabled. And install. It's gonna take you to another way. Um, create a new account. Go down to free domain name and find something that you would like. So I'm gonna do dyndns-free.com. So I'm going to make something that go right here. Netgeardns.dynds-free.com. I'm going to hit add. You have to wait for it to load. Don't click it twice because it will add it to your um, cart and then you have to pay for it. So then do a regular sign up. So I'm going to sign up with j Password. I'm gonna make my custom password. It has to be at least six characters. I'm gonna type in my email. To type in again. Let me pop this up on something. Alright, do right there. Then I'm gonna have to type my email again. Then I have to type in the catch your code. Then I'm going. I'm not. I don't want the newsletter. So I'm gonna uncheck. I'm gonna uncheck the newsletter because I don't want it. And I'm going to hit I uh, agree and then hit create account. And for the look, see how slow my internet is. So let's say go to jackcrawford@yahoo.com, which is my email. Go to my email. Then I'm gonna log in. Box. It's very slow. Now click on your DNS.com account information. Then I'm going to click the link that is provided. It's going to make a pop up box so you can close out um, Yahoo or Gmail. When these options come up right here, just hit my account. Then, there you go. So then, open up router. So, we put login.net. Then go down to dynamic DNS. Will we go back up? T1 
take that. Do the only one dyndns.org. Hosting, type in what you put. What did I put? Um, let's see. It's never wrong to check over. Right here, Nick Gear DNS. So my host name is Nick Gear DNS dot D Y N D N S dash free dash free dot com. So again, type in username and password. They call for T password. I'm gonna hit apply. Then you're gonna hit show status. Says host can says host name is not correct, so we can let's try again. Host name is not correct. Let's try that word. So let's go check DYN DNS and see if my host name is my card. Netgear DNS dot DYN DNS dash free dot com. Oh, I have to activate services. Let me activate my services. Alright, so now it's up. It's up and activated. So I'm going to apply one more time. Then I'm going to hit show status. This is my host name is incorrect. Let me see it right here. So you see it's up, right? So I'm going to copy this right here. Then I'm going to hit apply. This is all the same day. But it is Alright, so now it's working. Netgear DYNDNSFree.com updated successfully at fall 2 3 6 2011. So now it's working. Now let's go. I'm going. Now test overall speed. Okay. The overall speed is fast. Thank you.